Hello and welcome to Lo-Fi Codes. I'm your host David Fitzgibbon and today we're going to take a look at creating an SVG decibel meter. We're going to use the Arctic Monkeys AM album cover. It already looks a bit like a sine wave so let's use the sine waves to play with it. We've got a few little extra treats in there. If I click you'll see we've got a bit of a rainbow rainbow background happening. I'm not going to show you how to do that. That will be in the code. It's only a small extra. Uh, you'll be able to dig that out of the pen afterwards. I'm going to show you how to build this much though. Just the, the line changing width from scratch using Chris Wilson's web audio script processor. I'm going to turn off the microphone on this page and turn it on on Chris's page because I'm finding that these web audio APIs really hammer the computer. They're going to hit your processor, use up a lot of battery, and most importantly, start your fan going off, which makes it really difficult to record audio. This is about my 10th attempt. So apologies if you can hear the fan in the background. So let's get this going anyway. We're going to turn on the microphone so we can see Chris's audio meter working here. So we're going to copy the code from this page. Chris has very kindly put everything under the MIT license. So we're able to borrow and learn from the code he's already created for us. We're going to put it in this pen. And let's just get started. So I'm going to look at the page source here. And this volume meter JS is the actual set of APIs Chris has made. There are only really two functions in it. They're very simple. If you have a little look, actually, I've already copied them in there. If you have a look at it, let's open it up over here. You can see it's really not very big at all. It's very tidy. It's only about 60 lines of actual code. You'll be able to read through it and start to understand it yourself. We're also going to take the main JS. This is what's actually creating the animation back here, this green line. And we're going to copy that into our JavaScript. And then we're also going to take the HTML so that we can make sure everything is hooked up and working. Again, we're going to stop this microphone and start it over here. And we have a decibel meter. Not bad for only a few minutes work. So let's see what's happening here. Chris has a canvas element here of meter and he's playing with that. We can actually fold a lot of this code. We'll do that in a second. He's playing with it down in this draw loop function where he's changing the canvas, different fills, different widths, depending on the volume that's coming back. And he's getting that from this meter volume here. We can even console log that so you can see what's happening. If you jump into the console and allow, so you'll see a lot of numbers coming back over here. So I'm just going to uncomment that and they should stop. So you'll see that they're all around 0.04 0.02, 0 0.03 0 over here. So that's brilliant. We're going to use that later. That's what we're going to use to animate our line. We're going to use that as a stroke width on an SVG. So let's get that going. For now, we're going to comment out Chris's code just to keep our processor quiet and hopefully keep my fan from interrupting everything. We're going to grab an SVG I made already. All I've done that you should be aware of is I've added this path ID, just in case that's not very big. And this will let us grab that path with JavaScript so that we can animate it. So let's just bring that in here. Oops. And the page should go white. That's because the SVG is white. If we made it red, there she blows. 
So let's go back, make it white, and throw in some styles so that we can get this going. And buddy, I stole this from the album cover earlier. This color, so it's gonna be black. And the SVG, we're just gonna say, put it in the middle of our page. I got my words wrong here. There we go. I was ahead of myself. So here we are, we have the basic SVG in place. What we're gonna do with those numbers we were getting back, are they still there? No. Where we were getting kind of 0 0.02, 0 0.03, if we filled them in instead here, You can see the SVG gets thinner. If we were to make that three full pixels, the SVG is too thick. So we're gonna play around one pixel. 13 is way too much. We're gonna play around one pixel. And we're gonna use that result of the volume meter to animate this. So let's have a look. We're gonna bring this code back into play. And the first thing that's gonna happen is nothing because it's all still Chris's code and his his code is looking for this canvas element that doesn't exist so we can delete that and then I know these top few functions we can ignore for now let's just remember this or it'll interrupt us all the time and again all of this is gonna be Chris's code so we can delete the whole thing and just get this request animation frame going again in fact I think we can delete all of this and we should be good to go so we've got meter volume and we've got our stroke width that we're going to change up here and it's for the path path so let's get that working here just create a nice variable to hold our path in. Document element by ID path. And then let's just play with the the stroke with without animating it for now, just to, to show how it works. Path and set attribute. So you might think you would do a style, but this is actually an attribute on the path. It's not quite a style. The SVG is working slightly differently. So that's what we're gonna change. Oh, we got a bit of a typo there. So we're gonna set this stroke width attribute, and let's just, for example, set it to two pixels. And we can see things got thicker there. Let's get it, make it bigger. We could set it to three pixels. Wider again, we could set it to 0.5 pixels. And it's getting thinner. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the value of meter volume and use that to animate our pixels. So to do that, we're just gonna put in the variable and add it to pixels. And we should get already a little bit of feedback. So that's a bit too narrow so all we need to do is start multiplying this meter volume if we multiplied it by 100 we would get this back where it's a bit too big so if we leave it at 10 there we kind of have a sweet spot it's starting to look like the album cover properly we're getting it a nice little thin line as it fades out it's not too big when we talk a little bit louder perfect Thank you for watching Lo-Fi Codes. If you have any feedback or thoughts about this video, please leave a comment below. If you like what you saw, please subscribe for a new video every Friday or check out another video here.